Um, I wanted to do a video today on something. I watched a video yesterday and it inspired me so much that I felt the need to come on today and talk to you about it. Um, first of all, I'll let you know I'm back in town. Um, I told y'all I was going on a trip to a cold climate. I think I told y'all it might have been Instagram. Before we got there, all the weather changed and it was not very cold at all, but I was in Washington, D.C. for the first time. I've never been there and it was amazing. And I have a really funny set of video clips I'm going to put together and upload um, soon um, if my computer will cooperate. Uh, I made a genius appointment and then I missed it. Ah. Anyway, um, I forgot about it. Um, I'm filming in a different room today. This is a room that I threw together. Literally, my in-laws were walking down the sidewalk and I pounded some stuff on the wall back there above my couch. And I, this, no, this is not what I want this room to look like. It is not working for me at all. So I'm going to be redoing it and I want to have your input. So I'm gonna do a video and show you what it's like as is, and then we're gonna all change it together because I need some, I, I mean, I have some ideas, but anyway, forget all that. Okay, to the video, point to the video. I entitled this video Aging Backwards because um, I don't remember why I titled it that. Can you even believe this? That is what I wanted to title it I don't know. I guess my point in be, in saying aging backwards is that you're not going to do it. It's going to be impossible. And here's what motivated me to do this video. I follow um, a lot of young girls because that's how I started off with YouTube. I only watched young girl cause, girls because I didn't know there were girls our age on there, on here. And um, I've been doing videos for a long, long time. I'm probably one of the there were very few older ones when I started, very few. I've been, I think I've been doing this four or five years. I don't remember. But um, I uh, used to follow, and still do to some extent, Dulce Candy. Um, I thought her uh, Draw My Life was really interesting, and um, I started watching her. She does really cute makeup and stuff years ago, and um, but then I started kind of seeing a change. Uh, she was uh, wanting to move forward and, and change things about herself. Well, lo and behold, she um, ended up getting plastic surgery. And I remember, she's in her 20s, and I remember when she announced that she had had a nose job, uh, my very first thought was, why? There was nothing wrong with her nose. And she got breast augmentation. And she said that was because she had her son and... Her breasts never came back. You know, I've heard that happening to people. Um, so anyway, she just, it's been two years, I think, and she just did a video, I think it posted yesterday, Do I Regret Plastic Surgery? I urge you to go watch that video. Dulce Candy. I'll try to remember to link it below. It was so good, and it got me to thinking, not so much about plastic surgery for our age, but all the other things that we're all thinking about doing in order to keep looking younger, to try to not look older, whatever. I don't know which way you think about it, but in her video, she talked about the pressure that she felt and um, she does, just to give you, give it in a nutshell, she absolutely regrets changing her face. And um, I think that we, just go watch the video and after mine. And um, I think that we all need to be really, really, really careful chasing something that is really not there. Perfection is not there, okay? I have such bad wrinkles right here on my eyes, and they only bother me when I see myself on YouTube. They don't bother me in my day-to-day -day life because I just live my life. I don't obsess about it. I don't think about it. But what I have seen is a lot of women our age with the lotions and the potions and, and all, of course, moisturizer. Of course, do what you can to look your best. You know, fix your hair, do whatever. But I think there's a fine line where we go too far, okay? You know, you see people, and, and, and do what you want. Obviously, it's your decision. But I urge you just to think about it a lot before you actually go there. Now, a lot of the things that women our age do don't last. Um, like 
Botox and different things like that and Juvederm and different things that we do don't last. So I guess technically you could do it. If you didn't like it, it's going to fade away. But my point is, why are you doing it in the first place? Is it so hideous for us to have wrinkles? Let's think about that. Is it? What's the problem? Um, I am 55. I actually have more wrinkles than I should because I squint a lot because I haven't gotten glasses yet and because I sleep on my side on my pillow. Well, I haven't gotten glasses yet because I'm lazy and they're too hard to pick out because I did get some years ago and I ended up hating them. And I sleep on my side because that's how I sleep best. So, you know, okay, I have wrinkles. So what? Really? Who, what? What is so bad about getting older? Why is it so wrong? Why would, I, I don't know. I can't get over the fact that so many of us are doing so many things because, or the flip side of that is if you don't do anything to look younger and you happen to look younger, I know one particular YouTuber that people accuse all the time of having all this stuff done and she's lying about it. And she hasn't had anything done, but she can't convince people. Why? Because they're jealous because she looks young naturally. Sometimes that happens, but sometimes it doesn't. And the point, I don't know where I'm going with this, but watching her, Dulce Candy, do that video and regret and come to tears about changing her face and the fact that she changed her nose and she used to have her grandma's nose and now she doesn't have her grandma's nose and she can't go back. And one side of her nose drains all the time now. Seriously, she was beautiful before. But even if she wasn't, why did she change it? Did she change it for herself or for other people? I think ultimately it was for other people. You can say it's for you, but ultimately, you know, if I really wanted to fix my wrinkles, it would probably be because I was afraid my husband was thinking I was getting old and haggard. I really don't care that much about them. I mention them a lot, but they do bother me, but not enough that I think I'm going to go put needles in my face and try to change it, you know? Um, as a community of women this age, and that's what I'm going to talk about because that's who I'm talking to mostly, let's don't go backwards with each other. Let's don't go back to junior high where we analyze each other so closely and think, you know, well, she doesn't have wrinkles. What is she doing? What potion is she using? What lotion is she using? What is she doing? And just go so crazy over it and try all these machines and different things on our face. I mean, I don't know. Am I the crazy one that it's not that big of a deal that we're growing older and we're looking older? Yeah, our society seems to worship youth, but who cares what society thinks? It only matters what you think. You and the people around you. Really just you. You know, God made us a certain way. You were formed in your mother's womb a certain way by the creator of the universe. And yet we want to change what he did? I don't know. I remember, There's a couple of things in my life that I've thought about changing, and I'll just be real honest with you. I didn't know that my nose was defective until I was in my 30s and this woman that was very rude and not very nice in normal life came up and said, have you broken your nose? And I said, no. And she goes, oh. And she walked away. <gasps> Let me tell you something. It was horrible. And then I realized, oh, my nose is kind of big and horrible and it doesn't look very good in the profile. It bothered me so badly. And then I finally got past it. I finally thought, you know what, as one of my friends that I used to know um, when we were younger, she said to me once, she had a nose that she didn't like at all. And she goes, well, you know what my grandmother told me? And I said, what? And she says, better, better one, one big nose than two little ones. And I always thought about that. And so I got past it. Well, then when I was in my 40s, someone else said something to me that was really horrible that I won't even say to you. And again, I started thinking, Oh my gosh, I've got to get this fixed. I've got to fix this. This is horrible. All these people are thinking all these horrible things. And then I got past it again. And I just sit there and think, A, if you're going to say something that rude to someone, then you have the problem, not the other person. Because when you talk about someone's physical appearance, you are talking about something that they can't change, that they were born with. If you tell someone you're a big jerk because you're mean to me or rude to me, that's different. They can change that. But 
you don't think they're cute, so you say something, or you think their nose is crooked, and you say something, that's the height of meanness and cruelty and just horrible. So why would you change yourself because of something someone that's mean and horrible said? I don't know. I, you know, I also, I have a s small, you know, boobage area. It fits my frame. God made me like this. I thought when I was younger, I didn't really think about changing it because I absolutely would never go under the knife for anything like that. Um, but what I will say now, I've waited it out. I got past, you know, being made fun of in high school for being flat. You know, I remember one time I had the most the cutest new dress. It was a prairie dress. It was a maxi with a ruffle on it. It was in a calico print and it was all the rage. And this girl walked up to me and she said, that dress would be a lot cuter if you had big boobs. I was like 13 and it was so awful. <laughs> anyway, I got past that, not caring about that. Well, now all my friends that are my age that had big boobs all growing up, well, you know, from junior high on, they hate them now because they're just not as, it's just not working out for them now. Well, I think smaller breasts are youthful. So I am so happy now that I didn't change that. And I've often wondered, all the women that have had breast implants, what is it going to look like when you're 80? Are they still going to be sticking out straight and perfect? It's going to look kind of weird, I think. I don't know. And I'm not against it. If that's what you want to do, just make sure you're doing it for you and not someone else. Make sure you're doing it for the right reason and not because you're afraid someone's gonna think your nose is crooked or whatever, or you know, you're know you too wrinkled. Do it for you, for no one else. If you really wanna do it, then go for it. It's available, it's safe, there's nothing wrong with it, but make sure you're doing it for the right reason because you might later regret it, like Dulce Candy, Candy does. Um, I just want us to not be so hard on each other and not cause insecurities amongst each. And I've not seen this, but um, I do know that there's a lot of people that do videos and it's always on that. And that's fine and they're full of great information, but don't make that feel like you have to do something just because. You know, I looked at that young girl that had the nose job and I just think, you what? Why? Why are you doing this? And it made me start thinking the other night, last night after her video, I was thinking about it and I thought, you know, would I go into the Louvre and look at those paintings, the masterpieces, and the women were large, they were heavier, they were fat, some of them. Would I want to go in there and, 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 and Photoshop those masterpieces? No. I wouldn't want to change them at all. Wouldn't have the nerve. I wouldn't do as good of a job as the master. So God created you. He did it for a reason and a purpose. You're his masterpiece. Enjoy it. Play up what you love. Forget about what you hate and move on. Don't try to Photoshop yourself. Don't try to change yourself because of society. That's all I got to say about aging. I hope you take this video in the right way. Again, I'm not against doing it. I just want you to think about why you're doing it and do it for the right reasons.